The only way to get to and from the island is by water or air. Only 38 small cars can fit on each ferry. There are a total of 20 daily trips that go back and forth between Stumpy Point and Rodanthe. So that means around 760 different vehicles can make the trip across each day. It's a ride that takes about two hours. Ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly caught one of those rides. Our team coverage picks up tonight on Hatteras Island. Aaron. And we are on the ferry right now. We are about to leave the dock and we're getting ready to go back to Stumpy Point. And there are a lot of cars that are on here with us. And there are a lot of businesses on Hatteras Island who don't know how long this whole process is going to take with the bridge. And that is why they are so worried about the impact it'll have on their local economy. It's a real pain in the neck. What's normally about an hour and a half drive took Chris to Ketchum six hours, hour all because he had to take a ferry from Hatteras Island to the mainland. It's the only way he can travel back and forth after an emergency closure of the Bonner Bridge. We've all known that the bridge is, you know, falling apart. And, you know, apparently there's plans to build a new bridge, but, you know, there's the environmentalists are are stopping us and you know it's we're not trying to hurt any animals or anything like that we're just trying to keep our lifestyle going and you can't shoot home real quick like you could before you know billy colton was headed in the other direction he said he's learned to deal with problems on the bonner bridge i heard there wasn't no sand on them so i don't know what the cause of it i don't know the solution but a bridge would make it nice Employees at Waves Market on Hatteras said the bridge closure will make it more difficult to keep their shelves stocked and customers coming in. It definitely slows down the trucks coming over. They're not going to want to bring over as much. You know, they're going to want to try to get as big an order and come least amount of times. And for so many other businesses, the emergency ferry ride may mean an extra four hours round trip that some won't be able to spare. People come over this bridge every day that do work down here, vice versa. So it's going to slow down the little bit of income that we have. Now there will be priority for vehicles that are carrying medical supplies, people with medical needs, also mail, also school buses. And they're going to be monitoring uh, the situation with these ferries to see if they need to add any more during the rush hour times. Live off of Hatteras Island on the ferry, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. So how did we get to this point? Transportation officials say a legal battle is holding up construction and they blame an environmental group. Our